In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look together at how to use one of the most common transitions for text that you see in commercials. It's called Infinity. So I'd like to show you how to use it and how to modify it. I'm using Tyler Pro version 1.5, which came with my copy of PowerDirector. I simply uh, took it from my Tyler room, put it on the timeline, double clicked, and now I'm in the Tyler Pro interface. So let me show you a couple things about it. We're going to take this sale ends Friday, and with that track highlighted, we're going to give it some animation. The easiest way to do that is simply to go directly to my library with that highlighted, click on Transitions, and then move to Animations. I'm choosing the Infinity category. One nice thing about uh, Tyler Pro is it gives you a preview of what you will see in animation by simply hovering over one of the seven options here. We can take Centered, which is the one we'll use, and we see it pop out. We could take Leaping Letters, Letter by Letter, Swoop Down, Swoop Words, Vault Up, or word by word. I'm going to simply start with a centered one to start with. I'll double click on it and that will take the transition, the animation, and lock it into this particular um, track which says Sale Ends Friday. I want you to notice a couple things about it. First of all, we have the preset which is, has all the values adjusted into what they call centered. If I change my mind and want to use one of the different of the seven presets, I simply click the down arrow and it gives me the option to look at all seven that are built into Tyler Pro. So this gives me an option to change it right away if I want to pick a different preset. And now we say what it applies to. It applies to the paragraph. We can say line, word, or letter. So we can customize it going back to the particular uh, the uh, way the presets vary one from the other. Uh, we can also change the overlap. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't use this much, but I'll show you how, to, uh, how, how it varies in the different presets. We can change the speed, and again we've got four options, normal, smooth, fast in, and fast out. Um, and the fade, we can change that and also the position. Now because we're using centered, you notice the position is truly centered. So I'll go ahead and uh, play this and it comes in and it locks in at the center and then when the transition ends we have our text on the screen for the duration of the title. So that, that's how it begins to work. It starts at the center, comes out, fills the entire screen. It moves from center to, in this case, bottom. Let's look at a different one. If we want to do leaping letters, let's see how that one functions when we take it. You notice where they come from. We have our position circle at the bottom and they all come from the bottom one at a time and they move to their appropriate position in that particular paragraph. So that's how the, that works. Let's look at the next one down, which is letter by letter. Notice that starts as well in the center. It's using a fast speed by default, and it pops the letters from the very center of the screen into that location at the bottom that I've picked. We can also do swoop down. Now notice in this case, the position marker is at the top, and everything starts at the very top of the screen and it comes down together and moves to the bottom in one particular segment. Next one is swoop words. Again, we're starting at the top instead of using the entire paragraph. It's smart enough to split it up by words and sends it down where you want it. Um, and then, uh, let me double click on that, get back here. Uh, then we'll do the vault up. Notice again that starts from the bottom when I move my marker and it comes to the location that I designated where the letter should stop. And that's a fast in as well. And the last one we have here is word by word. And the word by word comes in from the center we've seen. 
and this is how it had, it functions. Now the neat thing about this is you can take a preset and start with it and change any of this. Let's let's take the word by word for fun, and let's say we want to start it from the left, and we want the transition to be um, normal, and so we'll go ahead and move our playhead back to the beginning. And now the letters are coming in from the left. And if we actually do the play, uh, we'll see what the transition looks like in this uh, eight second loop here as it begins to come in in what we call a normal speed. Let's change that to fast in. Move my playhead back and then we'll play it. Okay, a little more action there. So you can modify any of these any way you want to. You can start with a preset, and if you don't like your changes, you can go back and choose the preset. It will reset everything to the preset value. But this is a very nice way in which you can take uh, something like this and animate it uh, so it adds a lot of punch uh, to your titles. So we'll start like that, and there we go. If I want them to uh, come in down farther, in this case, I think I'll do that. We'll start about where the letters are. And let's see how that one how that one changes when I simply move my starting position. Okay, that's that's a little more what I want. I don't want it to come in underneath the car. And so that gives me a way to adjust it. So this is a really nice and commonly used transition that we hope will help you in your uh, titling with Tyler Pro.